Mission 2, Auto Runner. Welcome to Heigenbrocken. After a short layover, it's time to continue this train through to Aufschaffenburg. So, hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Tough Dog Games, Train Sim World. So, um, yeah, back in Heigenbrocken today, where we were... This is like the midpoint of the service, isn't it, where the bottleneck used to happen on the uh, DLC from that, from the first release. Um, there, fortunately, I think they've uh, they have since fixed the uh, red signal issue of games. But anyhow, that is a story for another day. So, hey guys, I'm back to Trenton World. Mission two today, auto runner. So, as it stands, we have a load of cars behind us, new cars currently in port in Germany, and we now need to um, take them over to Alf Schaffenberg, where they can then pre-process later on. So, what's up, the train today? Uh, sorry, so that's a fall as well. Then set the brake position to 1B. And once we're done, we can now depart. So, remember the uh, parking brake this time. Brakes are released, and once the signal ahead of us goes green, turn the wipers on just for the uh, sake of the rain, um, then we'll be able to go. So, uh, yeah, back in Trenton Worlds. So they were in the uh, DBBR 185. In fact, we're in two of them. The Rayleon DB Logistics uh, livery. And yeah, we should be alright um, for service today. Oh, uh, yes, fun fact here at um, Hagenbrucken. Platform 1 is abandoned. So people attend the live stream because here it's disconnected from the main line, the track. Going this way, go straight into trees. And then the diversion track on the side as well. Also, just goes into trees. So, I'm not sure where this line used to go or what it served. The platform, what would have been the original platform one at Heigenbrocken, is now no longer a thing. Yes, yeah, so platform one, two, three, and four. Anyhow, our signal has just turned green. So, we're now are able to put the, whoops, put the throttle up. AFB will do later. Gotta be aware that it's wet tracks and the heavy load, meaning. Wheel slip is an option. More throttle in. We ain't going. Uh, on the, wonder why. That's released, that's released. Parking brake's off. Fairly sure it's off. Okay, I guess it wasn't them. Right, so stop at Alf Schaffenberg in 16 kilometres. Let's also set up the AFB while I'm at it as well, just for the sake of easy travel. Uh, that needs to go up. Sorry. That needs to go off. AFB comes on. Then that goes up. And then this comes down. And there you go. You can now use AFB for the entire trip's journey, which means that I don't have to focus as much on throttle management, which is always the uh, added bonus of driving these German electric trains. We're inside the tunnel now, so in fact I don't even need the wipers anymore. And once the rear of the train needs a station and leaves the uh, siding, then we'll be able to increase our speed from 45. So there are a few seconds left until we do that. You also need to remember that there is also the passenger service in front of us, so um, we do need to uh, keep aware of that. But like I said, I don't think we'll have too many red signals on the route, probably when it's opposite the station. But besides that, um, hang on, we can put the speed up now. So, well played for having the desk light already turned on. Because I, one, I have no idea where that would be, and two, it makes it a little bit useful to uh, kind of see the gauges. Um, so yeah, it's not about red signals, because I remember, so, as I mentioned at the start of this video, basically, Hagenbrocken was a station, we've got a passenger train to our left. Um, Hagenbrocken was a station which caused the uh, bottleneck. If you remember when we had the uh, red signals, back in the original live stream, a few people had the futures as well, where if it train was stuck there, then no other train would be able to move the map, and nothing would ever happen again. So, Dovetail Games have now fixed that, wipe has come on, and we shouldn't really suffer that issue anymore. So we now we're uh, left in the past for us not to worry about it anymore, although I actually want to see where the uh, service in front of us is now, and we'll be coming in to half of it. 
I mean, the route itself, we've got it's about half the man map. Hagenbrook into Aschaffenburg. Uh, got a station there. Is that him? I believe it's so. Yeah, okay, that is him then. And if you're slowing down. Yes, that'll be a platform there. So you're slowing down. Meaning we will require to stop just behind. That's one station there. Land the route a bit. One station here. And then that should be the end of the route, actually. Uh, line splits to three. And yeah, we hold at the um, main station at Aufschaffenberg. So we won't go all the way to top speed. See that the line's now gone up to 120. Just for the fact that the signals ahead of us could potentially turn red. And I don't want to be going at high speeds. In case that happens. And in case he is also stopped in front of us. So we've got a little bit slower than the line speed. Just for the sake of um, safety and time management. Besides that, service itself, going fairly well, going fairly well. So with the Rayleon DB Logistics Loco, as I say, we're carrying a trailer full of cars, all of which have a water repealing paint, not a single drop of rain on them. Germ technology at its best, eh? And, um, well, yeah, so I believe our Schaffenberg will then mean that later on. I don't turn the handbrake out if we really wanted to and cause a massive disaster. Um, I was going to say, yeah, uh, Aschaffenburg, so then they'll probably be uh, sent to the port and imports to the UK just before Brexit, meaning that there's are as many German cars in this country as possible to sell, because that is probably what's going to happen, actually. We'll just see a massive wave of imports just before we leave the European Union, and then we leave it, and then, um, yeah, we're still buying foreign products. For me, Nothing will change in Brexit. I don't want to go too political on this channel, because I like to stay out of it. But the way I see things, it's Brexit by name, but not in nature. We'll be, on paper, legally out of the European Union, but trade will still go on. No visas between travel. They won't stop flights. It's just too big of a market, and basically the world's biggest trade deal to throw out the window. So, uh, yeah, while they may say we're leaving the European Union, not much in my eyes will change. You may have different opinions, that's fine. That's just kind of how I see it, that's my two pence worth. I mean, I've already got a flight to books for March 30th, the day after we leave the European Union. I'm off to uh, Norway. Which, speaking of which, actually isn't in the EU either, I don't think, so... Maybe there's a reason why uh, I'm going there so easy. Let me have a look. Is Norway in the European Union? Uh, no, they're not actually. Okay, that kind of throws my argument out the window. <laughs> yep, they're not even a part of the European Economic Area because they do not have the uh, Euro, they have the Krona. Anyhow, if I look at the map ahead of us, to make sure that the services since departed, yes it has. That's again some nice ground. And they should soon come to a halt at the last station the service. Once he's passed that, then I'll be more than happy to increase the speed up to 120. And focus on the high speed to finish the uh, end of the service. I mean, it's nine kilometers to go. It's not like we're spending particularly that long on the track. And 60 kilometers an hour, sorry, 70 kilometers an hour even. Still uh, fairly fast for a loco, especially. Um, well, especially for a UK one, I have to say. We're not exactly the fastest trains in the world. There you go, passing through um station we stopped at last time, actually. And this is where we'll turn the service around. Due to um the... what was it? There was track works going on just before Hagenbrook, and that's it. So we had to do, start at Aschaffenburg, bring the Doppelstock Wagen to here. We're turning around and returning back to Aschaffenburg. Another abandoned track to the right. Looks like Germany do have a few of these. 
Well, in this case, there's not exactly uh, much evidence to say that there used to be a train line there. It's just a track, and then a the massive drop onto the rise. Not like a odd bridge or something, not like a track diversion. Just drops. I'll go to the front of the train actually as well. Just get ourselves a nice trackside camera view of the locomotive going past. You still can't beat uh, classic British train horns. You really can't. And now we're going to sit here and enjoy something like 20 wagons, probably more than that actually, maybe 30 wagons of new unpainted cars. No, that wasn't that long actually. Maybe it was 20. Maybe it was. Right, check the map. There'll be a loco passing to our left shortly. And the other train has. Yeah, it's long departed, so we'll increase our speed now to a 4125, 130. Is it 125 or 130? 130. And then, um, yeah, later on we'll start slowing down. Only 7 kilometers to go, so like I say, not particularly long left. And then we'll see what the uh, rest of the mission does. Alright, there's the passenger service. I say maybe in the wet weather, probably start slowing down at two kilometres, just for the sake of uh, actually being able to slow down on time and stop. It's like I say, wet tracks and a heavy train does mean that our braking distance does automatically uh, extend by about double that of passenger train. I do know that the uh, more modern uh, passenger, things like the DBBR 182, the braking on that is mental, genuinely. I do love the brakes on that train. You can be going uh, 120 to 0, stopping at max braking in about 10 seconds, really, about 200 meters. So uh, that train I absolutely adore the brakes of. This one I know can be a little bit uh, weaker, especially in wet weather conditions. If you remember that from uh, Rural Sea Ignored. So, uh, yeah, probably the same kind of setup here in Main Spessart. Just under 5 to go now, 4.7. Getting some nice speed now. We won't go up to 150, which is what it tells me to do now. I think 130 will do me more than enough. Yeah, up to 160. Not going to happen. Not today. Alright, there's a signal in about a kilometre. Stopping in three and a half, so yeah, by the time we get to that signal, we'll start thinking about slowing down to around maybe eighty kilometers an hour. Enter the platform at I'd say maybe twenty five rather than thirty, just to give me that extra bit of a a gap to slow down in. And then after that, uh, yeah, just bring it into a halt really. And then see what we need to do for the uh, rest of the mission. Alright, so, AFB down to, I well, should go down to 60. In fact, it's a very good choice to go down to 60 because entering some points now, track winds out. The uh, speed limit has actually just dropped down to 100 kilometers an hour. So we'll continue the uh, slowdown for this bit. Looking good. Next signals are yellow, which means soon we will be going through a uh, set of points, which takes us onto another track. And there you go, down to 60 in. Actually, probably a very good time for me. I mean, when it comes to slowing down for different parts of the routes and stations, usually I'm at uh, four speeds just before the, uh, well, right up to the slowdown. 
This time for the sake of weather speed management. I've done a, a much better job than usual, for sure. Alright, down to 15. We'll soon be entering the platform. In fact, we'll keep it at uh, 40. It seems a little bit far away. 1,600 meters, just over half a kilometer. And then we can uh, start thinking about slow down. A couple of wagons to our right, about to pass. Uh, what would you be carrying? You'd be carrying. I'm not sure. Habins. Unfortunately, I don't quite understand German, so. Not something I'll be able to translate. I don't think these are quite as uh, animated as the Gross and Railway ones. The Classic 6 with their carriages, they were pretty well done actually. We could like open up the tops, look inside. Same with the very beginning of. Uh, what's it called? Whoops. So, same with the very beginning of the. Which one was it? It's the original one, CS6 Heavy Hall. But basically, trains were so well done. You could kind of just. Uh... Oops, hang on. Deactivate AFB, we're a little short, we'll carry on again. Where basically trains were fully detailed, Ca uh, carriages had like stuff inside of them, full loads, and all the doors and whatnot you could open, look inside. Those trains were really well built. Although, due to the fact that they'd lag all the time, they kind of had to uh, kill the detail down a bit, which was a shame. It was a shame, but uh, very early trains in world, C6 Heavy Hall, it was really good, it was really good, but. No one were able to run it. That game was just painful to load on anyone's system, really. Alright, uh, sure, it should be close enough. Nope. Alright, we'll crawl again then. Right, four. Stop at location, there we go. Right. Really? <laughs> Man, I've always been uh, quite vocal about these stop points never quite working. Well, it's not a case of them not working, it's just a case of the fact that they are not well enough defined. So we need to crawl a little further. There you go, two. One. Stop. There we go. He accepts that now. So, secure the train. My switch to off. And parking brake to on. Disembark. Oh, is that it? We're not going like, to do a reverse something. We just need a train on the side here. Okay, so I'll just turn off the wipers. And, um, yeah, disembark from the train. Uh, we need to go over to the cabin over there, make sure that tracks are clear. Everything looks good. Let's head over to the area to finish our journey off today. Right, so actually a very short mission that's Hagenbrook into Aschaffenburg. If I did go up all the way to the maximum speeds they required for this service, which is like 160 to up to 200, then um, yeah, that service would have been a lot shorter than that, but hey. Um, yeah, that's about it really. 18 minutes 32, 16 kilometers driven. 39 meters walked with a grand total of 5,000 points. Level 37, level 5 on the main to best up barn, and level 5 on the BR185. So, well, yeah, very short session of train to this week. Maybe get it within 20 minutes. But other than that, I think it's now a good time to end the episode here. So, tune in next week for another episode of Train Sim Worlds. And, um, yeah, I think that's, that's really it right now. I just don't have much else to say other than that was a short mission, enjoyable, maybe could have done the one or two extra things in that. So um, yeah, thank you very much for watching, do leave a like if you did enjoy it, do subscribe, it does help channel out a lot, and I shall see you next time, goodbye.